Assalamu alaikum dear audience, this is Sanobar Sultan and I'm here on Sanobar's world with another video. And today's video is about ending procrastination. Yes, we all do that. We all procrastinate, which is basically unnecessarily delaying work or decision making. Or there's impending work that was meant to be done and you keep delaying it and saying, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week and that next week never comes. Or, you know, it causes a lot of stress to you and anxiety and finally you're able to do it. So today I'll be discussing ways in which we can end procrastination. I'll tell you measures what we can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, the first tip is that you should divide your goals into small chunks and take the first step. So, for example, if your goal consists of, you think of it as, um, as a ladder or stairs with a hundred steps. So you should think of yourself, not that I'm going to be climbing that, those hundred steps. You should be thinking, well, what can I do to take that first step? So you should focus on that first step of the ladder and not the entire ladder itself. And once you reach that first step, which would be easier to take if you think of it as just one step, as just one um, you know, piece in the puzzle, then eventually everything will fall into place, hopefully. The second tip is you have to recognize what are the enablers of your procrastination. And by enablers, I mean what factors are influencing you to procrastinate? For example, is it social media? Is social media acting uh, you know, as something that is deviating you from your work? Uh, is it a friend of yours who is distracting you? Is it a sports activity that is distracting you? So once you figure out what exactly is distracting you, it will become easier to put that on hold and say, well, you know, I'll, I'll log on to social media once I get a little bit of work done. You know, I'll catch up with a friend once I get this tiny assignment done. Or I'll, I'll definitely play that sports once I get this much work done. Uh, the third tip is to simplify the task and not think of it as a mountain that you have to climb. So simply simplify it and start with the easiest part. You know, start with what is the most easiest to you rather than the most difficult one. Because when, when you start with the most easiest one, it will give you hope that, you know, oh, well, this wasn't that difficult. I could have done it uh, anyway without spending a lot of time uh, on it. So start with the easiest work and try to um, just simplify the task and say, yes, it's doable. If everybody else can do it, I can do it too. The fourth tip is to set mini deadlines, which is for the small steps that you're going to take. Uh, for example, if your assignment or work it consists of uh, 10 headings, so set a deadline that I better complete the first heading, the first argument of my essay, for example, um, by tomorrow night. And, and just say, you know, just one paragraph. I'm going to write one paragraph and I'm going to finish it by tomorrow um, at any cost and set a deadline for it. So, you know, maybe you won't keep that deadline the first time, but once you'll have a calendar full of deadlines, eventually you'll meet any one of them, definitely. For sure. So make deadlines for yourself. The fifth uh, point is pointer is to motivate yourself. And you can motivate yourself and say, you know, yes, I can do it. Either you can self motivate yourself uh, by telling yourself that you can do it, or you can set a role model for yourself and have a role model and say, well, you know, so and so could do it. Uh, that could be a famous person, that could be somebody in your social circle, that could be anybody, a role model who has been able to do that kind of work, which you haven't been able to achieve as yet. Or you could ask a friend to motivate you. You know, we all have friends in our social circle who are great motivators. So you can ask one of your friends and, and tell your friend that I'm having difficulty keeping uh, keeping, you know, managing my deadlines and I really need to finish this work and you can you give me a call and ring me up and, you know, motivate me a little bit. So that would be really helpful, I think. The sixth pointer is uh, do not seek perfection in task. That is one of the main reasons of procrastination, which I understand. Whether it's university work, 
whether it's um, it's anything related to, uh, to your work assignment, what people say is that, well, I better achieve what the idea is in my head. Well, that's not uh, probably not achievable on your first attempt. So what you should do is you should tell yourself that I will do it the easiest way that I can and I will eventually improvise on it. So do not seek perfection. Just just go with the flow. Just do the work. Just do the write up. Do the task and then think about it as improvising it later. Okay, you can always review your work before submitting it. So um, surely you do not seek perfection in your head, at least when you have nothing on paper as yet to prove it. The seventh thing is tell yourself the benefits of completing the task. You know, make a list of pros and cons. What exactly is it that I'm going to achieve by, you know, finishing my task? And um, for example, if you're in university and you finish your assignment and you do not procrastinate, will I be able to get an A in the subject? You know, that could be a benefit. Or will I be in the good books of my teacher? Will I be, um, will it help me in my midterms? Will it help me in my finals? Will it help me look good in front of my boss if you're, it's a workplace assignment? So, you know, think about the pros um, and the cons of not doing it, basically. The cons of, um, you know, procrastination is simply that you might get reprimanded. So why not just do it? So think about all the benefits that you could achieve by working. The last thing is, uh, the eighth point that I would say is to reward yourself for completing the first step. You know, if you've done the first step and you are a known procrastinator, then bravo, you've achieved, you know, the first milestone. So celebrate yourself. If you are, uh, if you spend a lot of time on social media and you've been really restraining yourself, so uh, go ahead, use that social media once you've completed your task. So reward yourself, go out and play that sports, go out and hang with your friends, hang out with your friends, the ones whom you thought were the reasons of your procrastination. So um, reward yourself uh, once you've done it. So, um, so to your audience, I hope those were pointers that I thought would be helpful in ending procrastination because we all go through it. Um, and uh, I wish you all the best in all your tasks and assignments and work uh, in every aspect of your life. So I shall uh, see you again soon. If you like my channel, if you like what I have to say, then uh, watch and subscribe to Sinoba's World. And I shall see you all soon. Bye bye.